a man bought a refrigerator for rupees 15,000 and sold it on the same day for rupees 18,720, allowing a credit of six months. Allowing a credit of six months. The gain percent at reckoning money worth 8% per annum is. Now, I think I will have to make the question clear a little bit first. I mean, the question is clear, but you have to understand it properly. A man bought a refrigerator for 15,000 and sold it on the same day for 18,720, allowing a credit of six months is fine. You, you know what it means by credit of six months, right? He has allowed a credit of six months means what? He says, pay me the money after six months. I'm okay if you pay me after six months. Okay. So he will get the amount only after six months. Now, what is the gain percentage that he has got? How much percentage did he gain? If reckoning, reckoning is the current, current interest rate is 8% per annum. Are you able to follow? The current rate of interest is 8% per annum. So basically what you need to consider here is today, instead of buying this refrigerator and selling it to someone for 18,720 when I'll get the amount after six months, instead of doing all this, if I directly put 15,000 rupees in the bank, the bank will pay me 8% per annum. So in six months, I'll make some money. So based on that, how much has he improved? How much has he gained is the question. There are two different cases here. In one case, he has spent 15,000 rupees on a refrigerator, sold it to someone for 18,720, but he will get the money only after six months. The other case that we can consider is he'll put this 15,000 rupees in a bank. He will get rate of, uh, I mean, he will get interest at the rate of 8% per annum. There also he'll make some money. So what is the difference in these two? Based on that, you'll have to calculate the profit. Are you able to follow? Based on that, you'll have to calculate the profit. So let's let's see how do we do it. See, you have to consider it to be a simple interest case, right? Don't get confused if it is simple or compound. It is going to be a simple interest case. Now, how do you do it? The point is the current rate of interest, the current rate of interest, the current rate of interest is 8% per annum. 8% per annum. If it is 8% per annum, it will be 4% for half year, 4% for 6 months. Yes or no? 4% for 6 months. Are you able to follow? 4% for 6 months. Now the point is, this is like a real life situation. I mean, you have to consider the scenario and understand. I spend 15,000 rupees on a refrigerator. I come out from the shop and I sell it to somebody else. At what price? 18,720. But point is, I will get this 18,720 only after six months. Are you able to follow? I will get 18,720 only after six months. I have given him a credit of six months. That means I will get this amount after six months. I will get this amount after six months. And the current rate of interest according to the question is 8% per annum. So what you need to understand is how much in the how much should I deposit in the bank today? What amount should I deposit in the bank today? What is the principle that I should deposit today? Which gives me 18,720 after 6 months. At 4% rate. 4% rate meaning 8% per annum actually. Let me not write 4%. I will say 8% per annum. You are able to follow. What we will try to find out first is. How much should I deposit in the bank today so that after six months I get 18,720 when the rate of interest is 8% per annum? Understand, if the rate of interest is 8% per annum, for six months, how much will we get? 4%. We have calculated this already. Principle, you know that it is always 100%. So 18,720 can be taken as 104%, right? 100% principal amount plus 4%. Let us assume the bank is paying us 18,720 after six months. So bank will pay me how much? I have deposited 100% of value. The bank will pay me 100% plus 4%, 104%. So basically, 104% is equal into 18,720. 100% is equal to what? 104% is equal to 18,720. 100% is equal to what? That means principal is equal to what? Try and calculate. So when you do cross multiplication, what do we get? We will get 18,720 into 100 by 104. So I think 104 goes how many times in 18, uh, uh, 720? It will go 18 times, right? Or 180 times actually, right? 100 into 18, 1800, 4 into 1872. So 180, 180 into 100, 18,000. Which means today, forget about the refrigerator case and all that, right? Consider this scenario. Today, 
if I invest 18,000 rupees in the bank, today if I invest 18,000 rupees in the bank, after 6 months the bank will pay me 18,720. Is this part clear? I am sure this is clear to all of you. Yes or no? What we have established is 18,720 is the total amount. 6 months is the time period. 8% per annum is the rate of interest. So my principal amount should be 18,000. So if I give 18,000 rupees to the bank today, the bank would pay me 18,720 after 6 months. Now, now come back to the actual situation. In the actual situation, what happened? Scenario, what happened? I spent 15,000 rupees in the shop. As soon as I came out of the shop, I gave that refrigerator to somebody else. And that somebody else paid me 18,720 after 6 months. Which means, what is 18,720 after 6 months? The present worth of it is 18,000 rupees. This is the present worth. You understand the meaning of present worth? What will be 18,720 after 6 months is 18,000 rupees today. Or what is 18,000 rupees today will become 18,720 after 6 months. So the point is, I have actually sold the refrigerator for 18,000 rupees. Yes or no? It means I have sold the refrigerator for 18,000 rupees. I bought it for 15,000. I sold it for 18,000. But this person said I will give you after 6 months. So I said okay, if it is after 6 months, 8 percentage is the rate of interest currently. So after 6 months, 18,000 that you are supposed to pay me today will become 18,720 after 6 months. So now clearly the cost price for this person is 15,000 rupees. The selling price is 18,000. Remember, don't consider the selling price is 18,720. Because that 720 increment he would have got by putting this money simply in the bank. That is not his profit. That is not his profit by selling the refrigerator. That is his profit by putting the money in the bank. So if the cost price is 15,000, selling price is 18,000, how much is the profit? 20 percentage. Yes or no? Profit is 3,000 3, rupees. 3,000 and 15,000 is 20 percentage. So your answer to this question should be 20 percentage. Answer to this one has to be 20 percent.